Well, the root cause is that uh, we have a, a, a relationship to the U.S. state that's been characterized by one of, of oppression. That uh, we have a situation where as a colonized and racialized people, uh, the primary mission of the, uh, of the state and its front line, the police force, has been to control and to contain um, our population. Uh, we know that the history of policing in this country uh, was, was founded on, on slave patrols. So that's been the foundation. So what we have now today is not even an intensification of that relationship, that contradictory relationship, but an exposure of it as a consequence of the advances in, in communication technology. That now we can see in graphic terms and sit in the comfort of our homes and watch a human being being choked to death. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Or watch someone who has his hands up uh, being murdered uh, by a policeman in graphic detail uh, brought to you in living color. This is the reality that uh, black people uh, and poor people have confronted for centuries. And now it's something that's an object of conversation. So this has been the relationship. Um, and so it goes beyond just uh, a few bad apples in the police forces. It is related to a systemic relationship and related to systemic white supremacy. And when we talk about systemic white supremacy, we are talking about not just white supremacy as it is expressed uh, in a repressive form in the U.S., but systemic white supremacy as a global phenomenon that the, the pan-European colonial project uh, that was established beginning in 1492 continues, and that the collective imperialism led by the U.S. Uh, has as its objective the continuation of this uh, global uh, dominance by Western white powers. That is a reality that, that, that those of us who are the victims of this have had to come to terms with. Therefore, any collaboration with systemic white supremacy is a collaboration that is immoral and has to be denounced. The stein Baraka campaign is committed to reversing this process, to address this process in a real serious way, understanding that we're not going to be able to uh, fundamentally alter this relationship without fundamentally altering the very nature of the society and the relationships that uh, uh, continue. Uh, in other words, we have to have authentic decolonization and a structural transformation in this society if we're going to have real social justice, democracy, and a commitment to people-centered human rights.